Hello thinkers. Ever wondered how to use a servo motor but didn't know where to start? You're in the right place. Servos are perfect for precise motion control, whether it's moving robot parts, handling actuators, or even building a robotic pet. But how do you begin? In under 5 minutes, you'll learn how to control a servo motor with an ESP32 using buttons. My human will guide you through two simple examples to master both position and speed control. If you're new to the ESP32, check out our introduction video, link in the description. Servo motors are different from regular motors. They move to a specific position, like 0 degrees or 180 degrees. Inside, there's a feedback mechanism that helps the servo motor hold its position precisely. This makes them perfect for projects that need controlled movement. A servo motor has three wires, red for power, brown for ground, and yellow for PWM signal input. PWM signals control the servo's angle by varying the pulse width, with typical values ranging from 500 micros for 0 degrees to 2500 micros for 180 degrees. Inside the servo, a potentiometer tracks the position of the rotating shaft, which adjusts based on the PWM signal. A feedback mechanism ensures the servo stays at the desired angle by comparing the current position to the target and correcting it as needed. To control a servo motor with the ESP32, you'll need the right library. For this project, we'll use the ESP32 servo library. Open your Arduino IDE, go to Tools, Manage Libraries, and search for ESP32 servo, click Install, and you're good to go. Now, let's get hands-on. First. Connect the control pin of your servo to a GPIO pin on the ESP32. For this example, we'll use pin 13. The power and ground pins go to the ESP32's 5V NGND pins. Want to add some interaction? Let's use a button to control the servo. When the button is pushed moves it to 0 degrees, and when pushed again moves it to 180 degrees. The function right is then used to set the servo position. Imagine using this setup for a door opening mechanism or any project with simple, predefined positions. Now we will control a servo's direction using two buttons and an ESP32. Imagine projects where you need precise manual control, like adjusting a robotic arm or fine-tuning a camera angle. This setup is perfect for those tasks. Here's how it works. We've programmed the servo to respond to two buttons. Pressing one button moves the servo clockwise, while pressing the other moves it counterclockwise. When neither button is pressed, the servo stays still. This behavior is achieved by incrementing or decrementing the servo's position in small steps. You can also control multiple servos together using a driver board, but that's the topic for another video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more ESP32 tips and robotics tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.